What is up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a minute, but Sword and Shield is live and I promise I'll be making content. So, yeah, here we are. I've been testing super diligently for OCIC. So my game plan is to put out a bunch of content between now and Oceania uh, for you guys to enjoy. I'll leave a bunch of pre-recorded videos before I leave my flights in a week. But yeah, uh, and before I get started, I mean, shout out to my sponsors, TC Evolutions and PTCGO Store. You guys can find the links down below and use them to get a uh, percentage off your orders. Uh, but yeah, so the first deck we're going to talk about today is my Mew3 deck. So Mew3 is a deck that uh, I took to LAIC, I took to Atlantic City. It's a deck that I've been favoring a lot in the last couple formats until the meta shifted and Mew2 kind of fell out of favor to some extent. But every new meta, I feel like Mew2 can be good because it's a deck that can just welder four times and win the game and it was one of those decks that did not need to welder turn one anyway so it's one of those you know still strong decks so without uh, i guess getting too much into the nitty-gritty let me go through the breakdown um megalopunny made its way into the deck now because i think there are more decks that can just play Dedene, and sure there are v decks now but you can still catch someone off guard and i kind of underestimated how important this card was at laic i think it's an oversight on my part now, this card is something I've been testing a little bit, and I really like, Victini V. Not only can you Victini in the mid to late game just to set up another Mewtwo or something with spreading flames, but you can also use Energy Burst to counter a Zacian with two or three energy on it uh, and Oko it. Um, the kicker is also I play a Lysander Labs later on, so you can deal with the Metal Frying Pan and the weakness, uh, and I think it's really cute to use as well. The two treat's not great, but you know. Um, the rest of the line so far is standard. Jirachi makes its way back into the deck because Mewtwo Malamar is the deck. Uh, and they don't really play a way to shut down your abilities that I'm aware of. I don't personally. I don't think other people do as well. So having Psychic Zone again is really important to, you know, not getting blown out by these decks that do 150 damage consistently. Fion makes its way into the deck as well because Whirlpool Suction is such a good ability. I think being able to use Whirlpool Suction um, and force an awkward situation for your opponents is really good too. I don't have a reliable way to search it, honestly, but I think the card is just good enough that I want to have it in the deck. Uh, well, there's Quick Ball, sorry. So the list changes a little bit because the dynamic of the deck uh, goes a little haywire. You don't need treasure anymore because treasure was really good for searching these three guys and some of your other attackers. But besides Naganadel, everything else can be quick ball searchable in the deck that was treasure searchable before. So four quick balls replace the three treasures that were originally in my list, um, giving me more versatility to find what I need. And there's a four Cherish Ball that already exists, so you're getting a little more oomph there. Four Acro Bike, just making it a little more of a turbo deck. Um, one Great Catcher and four Customs. I think Customs need to make their way back into the deck because V cards exist. So things like Zacian and stuff you need to pull up and take care of before they become a problem. Um, ERS, Switch, three Hearth, one Lysander Labs, four Welder, eight, three on the Energy Split. No need to break something that's good. So let's take this deck to the ladder and see how it fares. I've played like two or three games with it so far. Um, I've been liking it. I think there's room for improvement, of course, but for now, I think this is a super good base list. Um, yeah, so Lightning Metal indicates the Pikaram deck, probably. So we'll see what he's got cooking for us. Rohik Rohiki Chimchar. Okay, interesting name. And Mewtwo is a deck that never actually minded Weldering turn 1. If you Welder turn 1, you're high rolling and you're chilling, right? But the idea was that you Welder on the first two turns at some point. Um, so even at LAIC, I wasn't Weldering all the time on turn 1. Uh, but within the first two turns, if I was able to Welder, I'd be in a good spot. So let's Bike to start. We'll just take this. Lopuff can hit the discard. This is a really awkward hand because I don't want to pitch to this hand. So we can Quick Ball to start. Um, I think I want to just grab cards that I can detonate, right? So we can grab, because it's Pika, so this is important to have on my field, actually. We'll do this as well. We should also check prizing. One custom. One stadium. All my guys are in there. So we can go ahead and grab, um, I think Reshi's already just going to go hit the discard. Attach return, and let's do dinner. 
if we had a welder or anything of the sort to find us a welder, we keep that hand every time. Um, there's not anything else I'm digging for this turn, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass. Uh, yeah, I have two acrobikes in my hand. Yeah, I have a quick ball. But do I really need to do anything this turn? The answer is no. So right now we're just going to chill out, relax. Uh, I think Big Zard was prized, if I, I'm not mistaken. So that's also a little bit annoying. Uh, Pikaram gets a big boost from this new set because of Tapu Koko Prism being quick ball searchable. So, and they also get Sycamore, which is, I mean, Pikaram is good with Sycamore. So we'll see how uh, Rohiki can deal with, I mean, me. I guess the metal part is just the Jirachis. So he's just going to detonate the hand away. Interesting. Doesn't choose to put down the Zapdos, which means Tag Purge gets even more effective. But Tapu Koko V now exists to deal with Tag Purge, which is a little bit annoying. So ideally, we find a Psychic and a Welder here this turn. That's what we're looking for. He still has support for turn, so he can play Volkner, Marnie, Sycamore, whatever he plays. Yeah, see, the Volkner gets him a Quick Ball. Um, probably Quick Ball Energy... Then he's going to Jirachi dig for um, E-Switch, probably, and try to set up the Pikaram in one turn here. If I was him, that's what I'd be doing. Because the turn one full blitz is, like, really good. E-Power. Interesting. So his hand is E-Power, and maybe that's the energy he discarded? As far as we're aware of. Maybe he's holding two E-Powers in hand. And he's just looking for the third? To Okomi? I don't know if that's right, though, if you do that. Tap Coco V. So maybe he's just going to bench. Oh, maybe Prism's prize. Prism has to be prize, right? If you don't grab it at this point. I think we can be led to believe that the Prism is prized here. Let's see what he grabs. Thunder Mountain. Okay, that's a pretty good rip for him. If he had the Prism, he would have had turn one, you know, pop me in the mouth. Um, so I can cherish Quick Ball for Solgaleo, actually, which is really good. But let's Acro to start. Welder. That's one piece. Let's Acro again. Psychic. That's perfect. Let's cherish. So Big Zard's actually in the deck. So we're just going to put that into the discard because I actually think that's the most important card to put in the discard right now. We're going to grab ourselves a Mewtwo Mind Report so I can Welder again the following turn. There are only two Fire in my deck, but I do have ERS and I have Stadium Outs. Um, so we'll go ahead and attach. We'll go ahead and Welder. One energy to the active. Draw my three cards. Uh, I don't need to put the guy down. I already have a out to Welder in my hand. Um, I can force a stadium battle to start here, and then we can tag bridge. Also note that because I already have Puppy's ma or my attack in the discard with Lopunny, I can also just one-shot his um, Beakrom, because he's 1, 2, 3 in play, which means, you know, full blitz. Also, I can use Mega Lopunny to one-shot his Tapu Koko V. So two E-Powers, custom for two. He's going for it this turn. He's looking for an E-Switch attach. One more E-Power knockout, which would be crazy if he gets it. And like, by all means, if he gets it, like, power to you, my man. Um, but I don't know if that's necessarily... I mean, I guess, I guess that's like a winning line, right? Like, I can't do anything if he does that. Hmm... Because my hand, for all intents and purposes, kind of sucks. If I had a Psychic Harbor, I can duo and heal. If he doesn't one-shot here. So he didn't support her yet, either. Which is what makes this like turn really scary for him. Because he can find a piece or two off of um, the six here. And then he has Volkner also to find the remaining pieces. So we'll see what happens. This turn is like a make or break turn for me because my hand is not great. Um, 
I mean, naturally, I would have liked to have a follow-up here, but with the nature of how the Mewtwo deck works, uh, I don't. Maybe I could have held the Cherish Ball or the Quick Ball for a Dedene, which might have been more correct, but we'll see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he has more than enough for me to knock out anything now. Oh no, I think he's going to tag bolt me. I'll use tag purge. Okay, that was... My opponent just lost the game. Nope, okay. There it is. I think he had the right idea um, with what he wanted to do that turn. And he did hit every piece that he needed to. It's just that he didn't hit... Um, I guess realized that I tag purged. Which is all I wanted to do. But he would have killed me with the Tapu Koko V. And he would have been in a winning position from that point onwards. Um, so that is important to note. Let's get into another game. <clears throat> I just don't think he realized that I tag purged. Which, I mean... He went all in and he hit, I think, everything. Because he, he didn't Volkner, I guess, return. He just quick balled. So maybe he missed a supporter. Maybe he missed the Volkner. Be strong. Psychic, lightning, metal. So another peek around, probably. Uh, I don't know what the psychic could be. Yeah, I like to go first. I think going first is still fine because I can get an attachment dump. Lados is a good starter. I have the Cherish. I have a Quick Ball. I have a Dedene. We're chilling. Um, I don't know what's going on. I actually, I actually don't know what's going on anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Get rid of this. Let's check Welder real quick. Four Welder. All my energy are there. Two customs are gone. So that's that's maybe a little bit more relevant in this matchup because I don't know what I'm up against. Let's Dedene. Losing a stamp kind of hurts, but it's fine. This goes down, and we'll pass. So now looking at our hand, my god is it perfect for next turn. We have a hearth, we have a welder. Like, what more could I ask for? Maybe this is Nuzzle? What did he grab? I have no clue, actually. I actually was not paying attention. Where's the log? Hapu. He's playing Hapu. Hmm. So maybe it's like a mag like a lightning magnazone nuzzle deck. Yeah, it's nuzzle. So Espeon Deoxys becomes insanely good. Uh granted I can't do the turn two Espeon Deoxys because um No, I think I cut Espeon Deoxys. This is really awkward actually. I don't remember if I cut it or not. Um that was one of the cards I was up in limbo about. So he's gonna retreat here. Oh no he's not, he's just gonna searching magnet. He's just going to say, screw my Magnemite, it's dead. Um, so let's hearth first. Because I know I want two fires. We can check here for Espeon also. Yeah, Espeon's still in the deck. Thank God, I thought I cut it. Um, let's acro. Okay, fires. Impressive. I know. Oh, uh, Walter 2. Follow up, Walter's acquired. Attach for turn. This hand is good. I have SBDO. Next turn, if I want it. Mewtwo, if I want it. Uh, Mewtwo down. I'm going to Turbo Strike this turn. Yeah. We'll just Turbo. Put one on the bench. One Energy sets up a Turbo Strike following. So I'd rather just have that on the board than figure anything else out. Um, I have the follow-up Welder plus play. So I mean, I know exactly what I need to do. I need to SBDO and win the game. I think if I SPDO, Nozzle Deck doesn't come back here from that. So now they're gathering. Today we gather. Solemnly. I don't know how it goes, actually. But. Okay, Pika. Pika, Pika. Drachi. See, now I just go kill, kill. Or I would go, I guess, kill the two Pikas, right? And then. Steven's Resolve. Interesting. Spicy. Novel. 
I don't know what this guy's deck is. I'm I'm very intrigued. Very, very strange. So I don't know what three cards you could have gotten that would have, you know, saved him in the situation, but let's go ahead and pitch a hearth, I think. I don't think he plays counter stadium. So Walter first. We're gonna draw the three anyway, right? Acro, we wanna hit. I'll take I'll keep psychic, right? We'll do this. Um, I want to put this down just because I can snap it whenever. I've already hearthed, so Labs is probably just better in play. And let's do dinner. Oh, this is a little bit scary because I didn't hit what I needed. Ooh. Okay, whatever. Now we're a little bit sad, but... What we can do is snap the Whirlpool Suction, force him to give us a target, because I don't think he wants to give us any of these, right? We can preserve our Mewtwo with all the energy, and then we can Turbo Strike from here. We can power up our Mewtwo again. So this way, even if he somehow one-shots are active, I don't know what he can do. But if he does, uh, I have an answer. So he was able to take any three cards from his deck last turn. And so let's see what he does with those three cards. Another Emoga. So he's going to stamp me. Hapu. Um, another thing we can note is that if he goes too low on his deck with the Hapus, we can just um, get rid of his deck. We can just Burning Magma. That, I don't think, will be an issue, however. Or a possibility, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. Oh, Geodude, what the heck? He got three cards from his deck. Any three cards that he wanted. I'm so confused. I think I just put this in the discard this turn, attach to active, and just attack normally. Or I can just custom up this Geodude and kill it. I think I'm just going to custom up the Geodude, because I don't know what it does, and it's the only threat, I think, on the board for me. So let's just... Um, let's just Turbo Strike here. Yeah. And now I have game next turn, and I know I have game next turn, because there's three things that he can't evolve. Um, 60, 60, 70, that's 190. Um, so I know I have game next turn with the SBDO, um, so I don't really need to actually aggressively make a play there, because on the off chance that I retreat and make a play, take three prizes, he kills everything. I know he has stamp in hand, stamps me to one, kills my Mewtwo, puts me at zero energy on board. That's not a situation I want to be in. So there's no reason for me to aggressively play like that anyway. Like, I see the blood in the water kind of thing. Like, there's red in my eyes type of deal. But there's no reason for me to preemptively make the play if it's not winning me the game. Doing it early enough to win, like, doing early enough before he sets up is game winning because you take out his board setup. But in the mid game, you want to actually accurately take out whatever the, you know, potential threats are for the second. And then right now I put him in a checkmate scenario where I have SBDO to, you know, one, two, three and close out the game. So that'll be it for today, guys. That's my Mew 3 deck. I know the games were quick, but the deck is quick. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, leave a like down below. It'll let me know you guys enjoy what I'm doing. It helps me a lot. Um, you know, just know what kind of content you guys want to see. I'm trying the gameplay aspect out. A lot of people have been asking for it. So I figured I might as well because I'm not doing as many videos now. So I might as well make them quality over quantity for you guys. And I'll be streaming again. So check out my sponsors. Please leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. Whatever you guys want to do. Please be sure to subscribe. Love all of you. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed it.